yo what's happening chin giants welcome back to our channel back with another video and it is a hair installation as well as a young chit chat yeah so like a young chit chat get ready with me um this is in collaboration with her given hair um this is the box that i got the hair in yeah um if my voice is sounding funny you won't guess you won't guess it but I think I'm coming down with the flu again and I am annoyed I think another thing that's really annoying me is the fact that my husband is away on, on business he's working um, out of town this week so I'm just like I'm scared <laughs> but yeah so I'm getting re ready to leave the house so I just thought let me just install this in front of the camera and have a chit chat with you guys before I leave the house if you're new to this channel don't um, leave without subscribing and if you're regular gentle times welcome back baby so thank you so much to her given here for sending me this hair um very different from the other hair installations that I do because this one is quite natural hair right it's not like it's not like the other weaves that I do so that's what's different about her given hair um, let's just do the unboxing quick okay. okay so there's like this foam here on top and then you have another box here so I think this is like the they are packaging packaging right um this is also their packaging I, I i think they i think they really like put in a whole lot of detail in their packaging because i mean this packaging um because i think it covers this packaging covers a nice box i feel like they didn't have to write her given hair but they went to the extent of doing that they could have just gone in the plain box and put their this packaging in here but it just shows how much attention they paid to detail so yeah <laughs> um yeah love this so um, this is the box like I said and then when you open the box you have here two pamphlets right um, the one is a letter from our brand ambassador where she writes um, everything sweet and then the second one is week instruction booklet this is very really nice where they tell you about um, her giving hair the team who's part of the team um, yeah they are why and yeah why they exist um, and then you get them the hair so just gonna take off this and then show you the hair and then you have here the hair so as you can see there's a lace here at the back and there's like a whole lace here in front as well there's a needle at, oh uh, yeah, i don't think you can see that there's a lace here at the back right then there's a, a whole lace in front then you have the elastic here and then yeah you have these combs that i showed you where there's extra of them so there's one two two of these combs here three 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 three, three. And they gave you two extra so yeah so the hair feels very very soft um oh crazy soft um but you can actually feel the texture as well that it's like very close to people of color's hair um so i can relate right okay so just to give you some details on this hair this is the embrace my coily life wig hair texture is 3c to 4a it is 18 inches and it comes in 130 percent density it's a lace front wig and mine is a medium size cap um so there's different sizes um it does come with pre bleach knots um swiss transparent lace 100 percent virgin human hair and obviously like the band that I showed you at the back that's black that is very adjustable yeah so that is it with the hair information I think we can start um, installing now this hair actually before we install it I think I'm obviously I'm just gonna cut my lace because I, because you guys know that's how I usually start by cutting off my lace. I'm gonna start with the back lace the back lace isn't like really um, important you can just wing it as much as you can also wing the front lace 
as much as you can also wing the front lace but you know back is even more chilled um, and putting on my wigs I'm usually someone who cuts off the lace first other people I've noticed that put on the wig glue it on then cut off when it's on the hair I feel like that would be more complicated for me I don't know if you get what I'm saying but yeah so cutting off the lace here as well <laughs> Obviously, when I start with um, putting on the glue, I've also laid my own edges, not like laid, but like just put some styling gel here so that, excuse me, the wig sits better and it is neater. Um, yeah. <laughs> I can just use this to speed up the process because at this point um, I don't know where my hair dry is so so um, the chit chat part of this get ready with me I just wanted to speak about um, dark inner thighs um, if there's one frequently asked question I always get I always get is how I get rid of my dark inner thighs um, so it's obviously come to my attention that a lot of girls suffer from dark in their thighs and they don't like it obviously um, yeah so I just thought let me just like speak about the, that here in this video it's not it's nothing major it's just you know girl problems um, actually I don't even think it's girl problems. I think it's human problems um, if you have um, thick thighs if um, oh, you when they kiss kiss what is kiss kiss in English I don't know what kiss kiss is in English um, you know if your thighs rub when you walk then you have that problem but then um yeah so i just thought let's just chat about it let me know in the description box down below how you sort out your dark inner thighs so my solution if i can just give you like a background story of my dark inner thighs um i've never really had like dark dark inner thighs what i did used to get was pimples i used to get like bumps and pimples um, in my inner thighs and with that being said um, they used to get like really really bad especially when it's hot and obviously I'm in school high school and it's a hot day and we're walking around a lot and my thighs end up rubbing when we get home it's quite sore and all of that um, also said this would happen a lot and I'm not wearing any tights and I'm just wearing my underwear um to school and then when i wore the tights it would be better like i'd have like a better day so um and if there's one thing that my mom always used to teach me i was like wear tights wear tights with everything wear tights with everything and it just ended up being a, ha a habit when she started saying that and i started wearing tights a lot when that happened i saw the pimples go down right um as the pimples go down um obviously then it's much that one odd day when you're not wearing any tights, it's not that bad, right? Um, so, tights really help. <laughs> I'm still, um, I still stand tights today. When I'm at home, I wear tights a lot. Um, whether it's long tights or uh, short tights, I wear tights and I wear like a t-shirt and just be chilled. Um, when I wear dresses out, long dresses, I wear tights under my dresses. When I wear... Um, I don't wear tights with sh pants but growing up I used to wear tights with everything even jeans and pants and you know um, but now I don't um, so when I'm wearing dresses I wear tights when I'm chilling at home I wear tights um, the one time I don't wear tights is obviously if I'm wearing something short and I feel like oh these tights are gonna irritate me they're gonna keep going down and when I have to keep lifting them I, then that defeats the purpose because if I'm lifting them then they're not by the what do you call this they then my thighs are exposed to each other so on days like that when i'm wearing something short like shorts or short dress or short skirt then i would um put on some baby powder especially like on a hot day i'd put on some baby 
powder um, so yeah so that worked for me um, I have tried putting on baby oil but I just thought mm, I just made too much of a mess and then I just stopped wearing baby oil um, yeah and I just stuck to baby powder on hot days where I'm just um, wearing something short so yeah so that's basically my story when it comes to um, I think this is tacky now. Is it? I think it is. Yeah, I think this is tacky now, so we can put on the wig. Um, so just obviously undo this adjustable strap, and then put on the wig. <laughs> So I'm just going to put on some conditioner and water on the hair. Okay, so then you just continue doing this throughout your whole head um, and as you can see as I'm doing this I'm busy running my fingers through um, the hair just so we can um, define these curls even more and it can be untangled once that is done this is the amount of hair that shed um, so it's not a lot let me just there we go it's not a lot um, this is also textured hair so you are bound to get some hair shading um, I'm gonna add a bit of conditioner um, onto the hair All right. just a bit oh guys oh this hair no ways yo it looks amazing it feels amazing it looks great on me ah oh, I love it I really love it if you are trying to look like a natural girl this hair is for you if you want to change it up um, this hair is for you then I'm also gonna add some moisturizing curls mousse okay How much mousse I'm putting on? Great for curls. This mousse, Whew. this hair is stunning. It's gorgeous. It feels amazing. A man needs to stop saying the same thing, but I can't. It's the truth. So as I was saying, so it took me all those years um, to actually master the fact that I need to wear tight. Um, especially as a big girl, you know, just to help with that friction. Um, now, I've gotten to a point where my thighs aren't even dark anymore. So they used to be dark and they have pimples. But now they they smooth, they, have, they are the same color as the rest of my thighs and, you know, that also boosts your confidence. So, yeah, so that's what I did. Um, I didn't do, I didn't take any medicinal products or put on any ointments, any topical creams. I didn't do that, just wore tights. And that was it um, yeah and I noticed when this um, when I go for a long time without wearing any tights I start seeing um, one pimple here two pimples there and just like no tights and I need to get tights again so that's what I do so yeah I hope that helped let me know in the comment section down below how you um, sort how how you've sorted out your dark inner thighs um, um, I hope how what I did will be of great assistance to you and also let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this stunning hair from her human hair I look like a stunning girl there actually is no need for you to like lay this hair because it's like a middle parting so it kind of hides here the laying of the hair so you can just go without um, you can just like defy your middle parting if you want 
you can divide the middle parting if you want or you can just open another one completely I think I like this parting more what's going on here Ooh. sure okay once that is done to define to define your parting you can just take your hot comb and just do this so the hair lays more by your parting and yeah you guys thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed that chit chat i hope it helped i hope it helps someone and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye